Henrietta. I'm Tanya Bett. And I'm Peter Forster. And this time last year, we were both in the UK taking part at Festival at the Edge. Yeah. Today, um, we're coming to you from our home on Waiheke Island in the Hauraki Gulf in Aotearoa, New Zealand. And it's the middle of our winter. And so we're sending a story from the far north, from Finland, to the middle of your summer. And maybe this story says something about the kind of stories that arise when you have very long, dark winters. Once upon a time on the edge of the forest, in a small house, there lived three friends, a squirrel, a glove, and a needle. And one day, the three of them decided to go hunting. And so off they set, squirrel at the front, glove in the middle, and needle behind. Squirrel went bounce, bounce, glove went wave, wave, needle went so, so. Squirrel went bounce, bounce, glove went wave, wave, needle went so, so. Squirrel went bounce, bounce, glove went wave, wave, needle went so, so. And they came to the beginning of the forest, and they looked that way, and they looked this way, and they looked up, and they looked down, and they looked all was nothing much to be found when all of a sudden Little Needle said Quickly, quickly, squirrel dear, little glove please do come here Come and see what I have found lying here upon the ground And squirrel and glove ran over and there on the path was a great big puddle A puddle? said Squirrel. The puddle, said Glove. And Little Needle said, Is that good enough? And her friend said, It's nothing. And so they continued on their way. Squirrel at the front, Glove in the middle, and Needle behind. Squirrel went bounce, bounce, Glove went This way, and they looked that way, and they looked up, they looked down, they looked all around. But there was nothing much happening in the middle of the forest when all of a sudden Needle said, Quickly, quickly, squirrel dear, little glove, please do come here, come and see what I have found lying here upon the friends came running over and there on the path was a log. A log, said Squirrel. The log, said Glove. And Little Needle said, is that good enough? And her friends said, it's nothing. So along the path they continued. Squirrel at the front, Glove in the middle, and Needle behind. Squirrel went bounce, bounce, Glove went wave, wave, Needle went so, so. Squirrel went bounce, bounce, Glove went wave, wave, Needle went so, so. Squirrel went bounce, bounce, Glove went wave, wave, Needle went so, so. And they came to the end of the forest, and they looked this way. Whoop! And they looked that way. And they looked up. And they looked down. And they looked all around. But there wasn't much happening in that part of the forest either. And all of a sudden, Needle said, Quickly, quickly, squirrel dear, Little club, please do come here. Come and see what I have found lying here upon the squirrel and glove they came over and they had a look and there on the path was a bear squirrel said a bear glove went the bear and the needle said is that good enough and squirrel said how did you catch it 
Well, said Needle, I use my head. <laughs> you might have noticed I've got a little hole, so I got a long piece of string. And I threaded it through the hole. And then I went this way, and that way, and 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 forwards, and backwards, and forwards, and backwards, and forwards, and backwards. And, forwards. and I made me a big net, and that's how I caught the bear. Awesome, said Glove. Squirrel said, let's eat it. Well, well wait one minute, said Needle. I, I caught the bear, so I think I should decide what happens to the bear. And Little Needle went, hmm. Ha. Hmm. Ha. I think Bear should be our friend, and she should come home with us. And that is exactly what happened. The four animals turned around and they headed back through the forest. Squirrel at the front, Glove in the middle, Needle, and then behind Needle was Bear. Squirrel went bounce, bounce, Glove went wave, wave, Needle went so, so, Bear went bah! Squirrel went bounce, bounce, Glove went wave, wave, Needle went so, so, because Bear was strong. Bear picked up the great big log. Bear sucked up the puddle of water. And when they got home, they got out a big pot and they put the water into the pot. Bear chopped up the log. Chop, 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 chop. They made a fire, they put the pot on the fire, and they filled the pot with chopped up berries and mushrooms from the forest, and they cooked a most delicious stew. And when the stew was ready, they sat together around the fire, and Squirrel went, never, 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 and Glove went, and Needle went, <laughs> Squirrel went nibble, nibble, glove went needle, went poke, poke, bear went. <laughs> Squirrel went nibble, nibble, glove went needle, went poke, poke, bear went. <laughs> and soon all the stew was gone, and the friends they were exhausted from their big adventure in the forest, and so they lay their heads down, and Squirrel went. <sighs> Glove went. <laughs> Needle went. Donk. And Bear went. <laughs> and I'm sure that they're all living happily ever after. after.